In this video, I'm gonna show you a really quick tip that applies to basically all straps. So thinner, thicker, spaghetti style. These can be shortened and lengthened in a really easy, concise way. Let's jump inside of this garment to take a look. I'd like to shorten this strap a half an inch. I'm gonna use my ruler to give myself a mark. Great. So you can see right there, that's what I wanna shorten it to. Awesome. Let's flip to the inside of the garment. As you can see, it's only been partially lined. So the skirt portion of the dress is not lined and the top is. I have opened this little seam that attaches the lining to the waist and I'm actually just going to sneak right inside and check this out. This strap right here, this is the one we marked. This is just attached through the lining and outer, just like that. So we see two things. One, we can actually lengthen this almost half an inch already if she needed that. And all we have to do is open the seam from directly in front to directly behind. That is all we have to do. So let's do that really quickly. First, I'm lifting the understitching. Understitching is used to hold the lining in place and get the garment to just slightly roll to the inside. So you'll see here that you can only see the stitching on the lining side, not the outer. We're gonna remove that. I kind of started that there. And then we're free to open that seam really easily. And you can either do that from the inside or the outside. And I am just cutting these little seams, trying to be careful because there's actually ooh, some fibers because it's shiny. And we're opening the seam enough so that it's on either side of where the strap is attached. You see that? Great. Now we're coming through that lining. Let me reach in, pull that through. And then check that out. All we have to do is hold this in place and pull the strap out to where we want it. So this has been stitched down individually to each side. So let's just release that really quickly. And then I'll give you another view of that. Great. And you'll notice with this strap, the angle is important, right? It's got a little bit of an angle. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. Depends where it sits on the, the frame of the body. But you can see our little blue right there. Perfect. Let's grab our straight pins. And now we're gonna match that blue up with where the stitching was. And we're gonna match that angle too. You see where the original stitching was? Perfect. And now we're checking that. And then we're carefully just putting one or two pins through to hold it in place. Then when you stitch that up, just like that, I actually leave that extra strap in. That's really important because if she ever changes her mind, wants it let out, wants it shortened, it's really nice to just have that material in there and it doesn't hurt anything. It's being hidden behind the lining. So if we flip this to the outside, we don't even have to sew it for you to see what it looks like. So check this out. From the outside, you've done all of the sewing on the inside, no visible top stitching, and that extra material just hidden inside of the garment there. After we sew that up, the last thing we're gonna do is just whip this lining back down to the waist seam, seam allowance, and then we are all good to go.